Well, the Eisenhower and Johnson Tunnels got a big facelift, which should mean big improvements for drivers on I-70. CDOT says upgrades will keep people moving through the mountains, even when the weather gets bad. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, has told us a little bit about this project already. And Spencer, CDOT crews now have a bay to keep their plows and upgraded intelligence in the main hub there. Absolutely. And you're seeing that right behind me. There are two maintenance crews that work almost 24 hours a day out here from November to Mother's Day. And now they have the tools they need in order to weather the worst of it. It's the first ribbon cutting CDOT can remember doing for a maintenance bay ever. But this is no ordinary maintenance bay. It's here to keep crews on the road and close to the problem. But the weather up here and the vertical changes that we have in elevation catches people off guard. The crews can't be pulled away for a second when the going gets rough. Now, with garages like this, they won't have to, even if the plows need fixing. We would have to put a broken down plow or truck on a tow truck or a low boy and ship it down to Aurora to another maintenance facility that had the, that had the equipment in the facilities. This new facility allows us to basically actually work on our equipment and keep our operational readiness rate up around that 90% where we really try to keep it at. For moments like later this week, any snow can be a problem when you're riding up and down the mountain corridor. The new tech inside is really supercomputers also helping speed up communications for CDOT so they can tell drivers sooner if there's a problem and alert them to adjust their travel plans. Our variable message boards, we can update co-trip immediately from here. Because they know how problematic the hills to the tunnel can be, especially during ski season traffic, with holds that seem to go on forever. I would say we've had a couple here that have stretched, you know, four to six, eight hour range. So it's better communication, better support for those who support us on the road. There's also showers and beds here now for those crews. And because most drivers of plows, or at least our CDOT ones are, federally regulated, they have to take breaks after every so often. And now they can take those breaks here and get back on the road and make sure those roads are nice and clean for us, especially during hard weather. Live at the Eisenhower and Johnson Tunnel, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. All right, Spencer, thank you.